Vanya, we are meeting again, right? Hi, how are you? I'm fine, how are you? I'm fine as well. So, what do you want to learn today? So, I want to revise about fractions. Fractions, that's an interesting topic. Alright, so first let's just discuss what are fractions. Then I have something amazing for you to do the project, okay? So, what happens, Lavanya? We are talking about fractions over here. Do you know what is a fraction? Like, do you know the definition of a fraction? Yeah. Yes. So basically, what happens in fra fraction is what? It is a part of something whole. Quite confusing, right? Part of a whole. Like, let's just see how how can we justify it. Like, suppose, um, do you like pizza, Lavana? Yeah. Yes. Suppose we have a pizza. Okay. And the pieces of pizza are triangular. All right. Consider these are triangular pieces of pizza. Okay. Now, what do you want to do? You want to, I am saying that you can take only one pizza out of the total pieces. Like we have how many pieces? Six pieces over here. And suppose you took one out of six pieces. So it means out of six, if I am talking about one six, so the fraction of pizza which you are eating is one by six. So whole is six and part is one. Okay. And this is what fraction looks like. That is... In the, the lower value, the denominator depicts what is the total part, total number of part, which is 6 in pizza over here, right? Okay. And the upper value, which is known as numerator, it depicts from the total parts, we are dealing with how many parts? That's fraction. One more example, huh? one last example. Let's just see. Suppose, Lavanya, do you like chocolates? Yeah. Yeah. So we'll give an take an example of a toffee and a chocolate. Okay. So suppose I have these many toffees and these many chocolates. Okay. Now can you tell me uh, out of these uh, things in the from total, what is the fraction of chocolates over here? Uh, first, we will write the total number of uh, candies we have. Hmm. How many candies do we have? We have 8 candies. 8? And what is the fraction of chocolate? How many chocolates are present? Out of 8, we have 5 chocolates. So the fraction of the chocolate that is present is 5 by 8. Yeah. Right? Now comes your uh, problem statement, your code. Lavanya, the question is, what do you want to do today? Like uh, with the help concept of these fractions, what type of project we can make? So let me give you a challenge, okay? Okay. So this is our canvas, okay? This is uh, here, we'll get the output. Now what do we want? What I want you to do is, just skip some questions, right? Like uh, suppose here you have given some question, suppose 7 by 2, and 4 by 15 or something and then you have to ask the user to that which one is the greater greater fraction okay now what we can add maybe user can give a left arrow key user can press a left arrow key if this one is greater and user can press a right arrow key if this one is greater and according to the condition it should say that it's if it's correct or incorrect right will you do it yeah Perfect. So let's just start. So I have given this action here. So let's start the code. Yes. This is the costume. Where are the questions? Are they in the background? Yeah, they are in the background. Alright. Okay, so okay, so we can initially start with two questions. So how about when your user is pressing the green flag? It should change to the first one only, right? So we'll go to switch backdrop to uh, switch to backdrop one or something. 
please click on your character subscribe so right now it's uh, blue sky 2 let's just make it blue sky 1 What do you want to do next? We want to this cat to speak. Okay, now choose the greater one. We will add the. Uh, this time your project will talk, huh? another speak block and say that press left for the uh, left expression right for right expression left arrow key for left expression and right arrow key for right expression Perfect. Now user will press some key so we can add our conditions. Let's go to control now. We can use a uh, um When you're here now, um, I mean, uh, we don't know whether user will give left arrow key or right arrow key. So we'll go to control statement. We won't use this block. We won't use this thing uh, when key is pressed. Just delete it. Let's just give if then else condition. Because either user will give left arrow key or user will give right arrow key, right? So two conditions are there. We'll sense it. So we'll go to sensing. Yes. Um, just scroll up now, you'll get the key press. Perfect. So, out of these two expressions, anyway, which one is the greater one? divide we can just simply divide right and we can say that okay if it is 5 by 2 so it is 2.5 it is 6 by 3 so 2 right so the left one is greater over here so we'll just simply speak if a user has given the right arrow key so user has given incorrect answer so we'll go to text to speech and we'll say Answer is incorrect. Correct answer was 5 by 2.
here we can just simply give that answer is correct because user has given the correct key Run the code. Choose which fraction is greater. Press left arrow key for the left expression. Press right arrow key for the right expression. That answer is correct. All right, Lavanya. Now, um, so that's what it's very important. No, we have to know both the concepts: the math part and the coding part, right? And when we are uh, uh, we combine them, then only we can make so much fun with coding, right? The mass weights one, isn't it? Yeah. All right. So Lavanya, uh, this time we went for your problem segment. In the next class, next time we'll do mine. Okay. 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 Then see you again. Bye, Lavanya. Take care.